Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's time to explore the rest of this floor in that Palisade Property Bank around the Executive Suites level. I think we've explored pretty much all of this except the CTO's office I don't believe we've been to. So it should be straight ahead and to the right. Oh, I also didn't explore this area because the camera was on at the time. Who is that? Oh yeah, the boardroom. That's right, there's somebody in there too. Yeah, I should be able to go in there as well. As in, I, I think all the cameras and everything that we're monitoring that place are, are off. For this morning's security meeting, the updated weekly code for the third floor security room is Clemenza. I have already updated this system, so this code is valid, effective immediately. Your neighborhood pizzeria. I love the fact that literally every single microwave comes with two sausages and a couple little bits of bacon inside of it. It's beautiful. Let's actually check out the boardroom right now. Hmm. So yeah, that camera's off. This guard has been taken care of. There is a person inside of here, of course. All over the world. So... The gonna have to zap them. But yeah, let's try a trank. I haven't used tranks in a while, right? There. You're fine, you're fine. Just go to sleep, Thomas Romanek. Nine credits? That person had nine credits? What kind of executive boardroom is this? Before we look at the computer, let's see what's on here. Let's see, our values, client privacy, secure data management, QOS, secure online service, fault safety, hmm, points to improve, security breach, yeah, yeah, you might want to improve that. Is that a code? Room number two, five, two, two, four. I'm not sure what room number two is. It's just a conference room computer. I don't think there's going to be much on this. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiate. Access granted. Uh, meeting rooms. When using the meeting rooms, be sure to erase the whiteboards when you are done. Not only is this common courtesy to other users of the rooms, but I've seen too many examples of sensitive information on display that shouldn't be. Guess that's a little hint. They might want to look for a password or something on here. Okay, over to the CTO's office. Hmm. Hmm. Now, what does CTO stand for? I don't know off the top of my head, but it seems like there's two security guards in there, which is a little bit strange. Waypoint clear. Confirmed. Check update. It's worried for a second that they were coming or something. Uh, it's gonna come here, here, here. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. This this should actually be super easy. Anomaly detected. 
program. Trace program initiated. Access granted. There we go. Yeah, why are they in the CTO's office? I was thinking maybe this was just some sort of a security room and that's why they were there, but no, that is definitely a person's office. Ooh, I see a vent. Those are always exciting. Area clear. Confirmed. Updated. As you were. Masaki Oshiro, CTO. Wait, didn't I already find their desk, though? In the CEO's office? I'm confused. Oh, well. I want to check that out. Stay true. Okay, I did not expect them to come when I opened the door, but that makes sense. I don't see why they wouldn't come. All right, that actually worked out perfectly. Oh. <laughs> I love the way they slumped out of that chair. Oh. I guess I'll at least drag them into here. I mean, I don't think there's any cameras or any guards on this level anymore, but still might as well do that. Have you confirmed the tickets and reservations yet? Could you have the airline and the hotel send those confirmations to me, please? Also, can you contact the car service and have them uh, pick us up an hour earlier than scheduled? We have to make a stop on the way to the airport. I'll say it again. Sometimes the worst thing about this job is the clients. Lastly, because of the recent security problems, Daniel made us change the code to the office. It's now 0211. If Romanek needs the biometric encoder, you can go in and get it for him. When we get back, remind me that he should get a secondary encoder. Or talk to Daniel. Biometric encoder, that sounds very useful. So where is it? Daniel made us change the code to the office. What is the office? Daniel Janicek's office? 0211. Now it's gotta be a new office, because I already knew the code to Janicek's office a long time ago. And it just said it added a new code, so it must be a different door. I don't... I don't know what door it's for, though. We'll find it, though, I'm sure. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. I have an idea for tomorrow. Let's go antiquing. There's a great little shop in Old City. Or maybe it's near Quebec Fountain. Anyway, it's, it's called the Time Machine. Apparently they carry printed books. On paper! Can you believe it? I've never been inside. And I don't know anyone who has, but we could go see. It would be an adventure. Then maybe dinner? Tell me. Anna. Oh, the Time Machine. That's where we met, um... How was her name? The person who fixed our augments. I forgot their name. Started with a K, I think. Daniel Janicek. All personnel must report to the security office within the next week to receive their new access codes and cards. This is in keeping with our new protocols. Codes in the parking garage. 
change. Please see me personally for the update. Yeah. <laughs> Don't particularly care about the parking garage. I doubt there's anything useful in there. Um. Hmm, so where is the security office? I've been to multiple security offices, but I'm not sure where the one is. Because the main thing I need, like hacking things that need passwords and stuff, is not a problem. Because I can hack most of them, and if I can't, I can just use a multi-tool, but... But, um, key cards are a serious problem. I can't hack those. Where does that go up to? Okay, hold on, let's see. Whoa. I see someone clearing their throat. Must have been, like, maybe that person beneath us? <laughs> if so, then, uh, they cleared their throat very loud. Or sound carries through this marble easier than I thought it would. Okay, so we got this. Oh, we don't. Level 3 offices access card. Oh, I do have that. Okay. That's probably mostly for getting here, though, right? Probably not for... going anywhere interesting. Hmm. Not sure. We got three areas to go. We got here, uh, elevator, and then we have upstairs. Let's check in here. <laughs> it's the IT support office. <laughs> oh man, that their neck is really gonna hurt when they wake up. Have we already been in here? Nah. Okay, so that doesn't go anywhere new. Let's see where this elevator can go. Lobby or executive safe? So well, I've already been to both. So I don't think that's really gonna take me anywhere useful. Let's see what's up here. Oh, this is the one I have the password for. That's the one I just got, 0211. Ooh, is this the main security office? Oh, wait. I've already been in here. This is the CEO's office. Yeah. Yeah, I originally came in here from that up there behind the TV. And yeah, that is Masaki's desk. And the Shani's. Huh. Now I'm really not quite sure what to do. So I think I've fully explored this floor. So these are the stairs I came up from. These are the stairs that lead down to the area where I can go through either a vent or to the elevator that takes me down to the like executive safes or something. Some place that I'm not sure I've been to. I've been to the executive safes. I think it was called something different, corporate vaults. Uh, but I don't have a key card for that. So I'm gonna try this elevator and go to the levels that, even though I've already been to the levels, maybe this elevator will take me to a different spot. I don't know. Let's just see where this ends up. Yeah, so not restricted anymore. We're good. Yeah, this is just the lobby. Okay, I have an idea. This security room is the only place I can think of to go. So this is down on the very bottom floor, the executive safes. Remember, we've already been into executive safe A. We had the key card for that from somewhere, but we do not have the key card to get into executive safe B. I really want in there. <coughs> So I want to try going in here. The door is already unlocked, but of course it's a restricted zone and there's people all over the place. Why is there a pistol on the ground? I, think I probably dropped it there a million years ago or something. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking I might be able to make a good distraction with a smoke grenade. Because if I go in there without anything else, without doing something special, I'm going to be seen. That person is always just right there. So yeah, what if I throw a smoke right here, open the door, and then there's a vent over there. And the fact that there's a vent there makes me think, you know, there must be another way to get 
to the other side of that vent and then come in through there, but I have no idea. Like, I feel like I've pretty thoroughly explored every vent that I found. So I do not know where that one could lead. All right. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Area is off limits. <laughs> 60 reporting. Good job. I did not know that would initiate a cutscene. Okay, um, let's try some other stuff. So let me try to just do this, do the cutscene. If they see me throw the smoke, that's obviously not good, but what if I'm just like, you know? Is this actually working? Did this actually work? <laughs> Trapped in the door. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that works. <laughs> oh, I love finding silly solutions. Oh, they slumped over on their computer. Here, come with me. There, more comfortable on the ground. Ah, security cams on both the vaults. I hope that I can just straight up open the vault doors from here without a keycard. Or at least that I can find a keycard. Do I have anything I want to dump to get that combat rifle? Nah, eh, not really. Oh, I've got the password to this, apparently. Cool. Yeah, so I can't turn off the robots. But, like, I don't know if the robots will even come out if an alarm doesn't get triggered. So if I turn off all the things that trigger alarms, we should be okay, right? So turrets are off. Yes, I can open the vault door! And that disabled the security too. Oh, that is beautiful. I'm so happy. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Hi, Anders. Uh, do we access VIP rooms A and B? It's a trick, right? A Goose the New Guy prank? Oh, how do we access them, rather? Uh, what do you mean, trick? Didn't Seb show you around when you started? There's a simple Security 101 email that clearly explains things. I check the image I attach so you don't search it for it for hours. Like I'm sure you've already been doing. Now, what's inside the password is... this. To clear up any confusion on the VIP locker security process, here's a simple recap. There's a client keycard for each of the two rooms. Upon unlocking the keycard reader, the locker rises up from the ground, the lasers turn off and the security is lowered. The client can then access his or her locker. Once a client leaves the room, it's the responsibility of the guards in that room to reinitiate the security system, in which case the keycard reader is relocked. Mm-hmm. Let's see. In the event that there's an emergency, automatic lockdown will be initiated that will seal off access to the VIP lockers. Oh, okay. So if the alarms are on, you can't even get into the lockers, it sounds like. 
Well, that won't be an issue for us. So this is a restricted zone. So that guard out there is going to be angry if they see me. But it shouldn't be hard to avoid him. Okay. Locker room B. Totally not restricted. And remember, do not close the door behind me. That was a nightmare. Got some more server rooms. Ooh, where does that lead? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's just start looting the place. Security rating four. Two multi-tools. Security rating five. Hundred, three hundred, oh, decent amount of money. One more. Oh, I've got the password for this one. Praxis kit. That means I have two Praxis. Yes, I can get something fancy now. I'm going to wait on that, though. Okay, so, um, let's check out the server room. Oh well. Between the firewall and the level 4 node, that's gonna take forever. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Oh right, the firewall's always firewall's always gonna trigger. Um Hmm. I have to get to that node to take over the green though. Right? Yeah. Let's take these first and fortify them. Anomaly detected. Yeah, that'll buy us some time. Trace program initiated. Let's do a stop worm. Access granted. <laughs> Another cable duct. That's three cable ducts to check out. Yep. Okay. Um, let's do this one first. Okay, so that actually takes care of two of them. This just takes me right back here. Now, what about this one in the server room? Or not the server room, the vault room, rather. Oh, this was... Oh, I've, this is like one of the very early things I found. I saw this from the other side, and it was locked. I couldn't open it. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so I think I've gotten everything, except... I haven't been able to get to the, like, executive lockers, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's any way into the corporate vaults. Maybe there's a quest or something? I mean, the corporate vaults do exist, because they show on the map the main floors that have most of the stuff are 9, 8, and 7. This one's all the employee, like executive offices and stuff. 
This is the lobby area that I'm on, and then level 7 is the executive safes. And then these are just like kind of miscellaneous things, but a big one is this thing here that travels all the way down to the bottom. That's the elevator. Level 2. Yeah, level 2 you start seeing some stuff, and then level 1 is the corporate vaults. So the only access here is through the elevator or the stairs, but the stairs just take you up to level 2 and that's it. So the stairs won't actually get you down there. You have to take the elevator. Which means I need a keycard and I need an appointment is the thing. I'm sorry sir, there are no scheduled visits planned for the corporate vaults. I'm pretty sure I do need an appointment, although maybe if I found a key card and, you know, I know how to get behind the security grid to the elevator, maybe that would be okay, I don't know. But I get the feeling I just can't actually do this, and maybe there's a quest for it at some point or something, because I've looked at every single place on these three main floors, and I believe I've been everywhere. All these offices? Been in security? Security... Have I been in, have I been in security supervisor? I should go check that, actually. Hmm. Yeah, that's the only place I can think of. Oh, that's... Well, the only thing I can think of is that I probably need a quest or something. Oh, yeah, that's Daniel Janicek's place. Yeah, I've already been in there through a vault, not through the front door. I guess I could just unlock this real fast. Oh no, no, I don't have the password apparently. Really? I don't have the password? Huh. It's unexpected. But yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do there. Maybe... <laughs> could I talk the receptionist into making me an appointment or something? That wouldn't make any sense. Let's try. Please see the receptionist. Welcome back, sir. Nope. Thanks for the... So, I think we are done. Welcome the Palisade, Palisade Bank. Property Bank. <laughs> Such a cool, weird structure. So hopefully I'll get a chance to come back here and explore the corporate vaults, but other than that, I think I've been to everything else. Do you think they're going to be suspicious when they find out, maybe, I don't know, later today or tomorrow or something, that half of the people in the building have just been unconscious? Yeah, it'll be fine. There is the parking garage. Hmm. There is executive parking. Do you think somebody maybe like left their keycard in their car? But then again, it has to be a corporation, right? It's the corporate vaults. And it's worth following up on, I suppose. But for now, I think I'm going to end this episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.